Well, hello there, friends, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy pie dough. Uh, we're going to do it, we're going to make the dough, and then we're going to show you how to fill a pie mold, a removable bottom, so you can make like an onion pie, or, or you can make a cherry pie, or you can make whatever it is you want to make. Okay, so let's do it. Really, really simple. We got uh, two and three quarter cup of flour. I'm using a food processor, it's much easier. And I got uh, 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 nine ounces of butter, eight or nine ounces, and sweet butter, and very cold butter, okay? Very, oh, mamma mia. I forgot to first, friends, I got to mix a, 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 a quarter teaspoon, no, a half a teaspoon. <laughs> so I, I do two, this is a quarter. I don't have many of those things over there, those measuring things, but you need it. When you bake it, you mean uh, a baking powder. So it's a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt. And, uh, and if you're making it for a cherry pie or a peach pie, you want to put a bit of sugar in here, like a quarter cup of sugar, okay? We mix it up a little bit. That's it. Oh, don't mix it any more than you have to. And now we're going to put the butter. All right, and the butter, my friends, has to be very, 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 very cold, okay? Like super, super cold. And we're gonna pulse it. We're gonna pulse it until we have kind of like granulated. And then we're gonna put two very, very cold egg. Everything is very cold, that's the secret, eh? Very simple, eh? A child could do it. <laughs> if you have watched my onion pie recipe, you're gonna wanna make this, I'm telling you, friends. We're going to take two eggs, put them in there. This is really the simple way to do it, okay? You can complicate it all you want. It's not going to give you any more result than this. And I see so many people, oh, don't mix it. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. I've been doing this for 50 years, and I tell you what, my dough on my onion pie and my cherry pie and my strawberry pie is delicious. So don't listen to everything. Everybody tell you, don't do, don't do, don't do. Just do this. Make it very simple, my friends, okay? So, I got one already made. I'm going to show you what to do in a minute. We're going to take it, just to make it easy. We're going to go right there. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my bench right here. This is just to put it down, okay? See, see what it looks like, friends? It look, I don't know where to put it. Right here. See, it looks like granulated. Don't worry about it. That's what it's supposed to look like. We're going to put it in just like this. Don't worry if it's not all together yet. It will come together, I promise you, it will come together. This is like, you don't want to make it more complicated than what it is, okay? It's granulated and that's great. We want to do it this way. We don't want to worry about it at all. This is really, really simple. And then what we're going to do, we're going to refrigerate it for 30 minutes, right? Minimum 30 minutes. You can refrigerate maybe for a little bit more. I like to put a little more of the bread flour. Uh, maybe maybe 45 minutes. You can refrigerate it for 45 minutes. And you take it and you just roll your hand a little bit like this. That's all. That's all you do. Nothing fancy. Pick up everything right there. You see, don't do anything fancy. This is not like a... See? Just like this. See, look. A child could do this. Take your hand and just roll it like that, my friends. And what you want to do, you don't want to make a bowl. You don't want to make too much of a bowl. You see, look. Just like this. You want to make more of a disc, you see? More of a disc. All right, so now we got a disc, okay? And all you want to do with that disc, friends, I like to take a little plastic wrap, or put it on, put it on, a, well, not this guy, so screw, messed up. There we go. <laughs> we'll take it right there, my friend. If you take it, or put it on the plate, put it on the plate, whatever you want. And voila, put this in a refrigerator for half hour, 45 minutes. What do you get? You get this. You get a dough that has been in the refrigerator, but then you take it out. Let me take all this out of here. You take it out at least, so you leave it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I'll tell you all this in a recipe, right? And what you're going to do, you're going to let it out of the refrigerator for at least 20, 30 minutes until it's soft. You put a little more flour on your board. You see, put it all flour on the board, and then you take a rolling pin right there, and you roll it. And a child could do this. Make sure you got a little bread flour on it. I like bread flour. It doesn't clump up as much as regular flour, right? And what you're going to do, you're going to roll it one way, roll it the other way, roll it one way, 
Roll it the other way. And what we want to do, friends, is we want to roll it a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than our pie mold. You see? A child could do this. A child who likes to bake or likes to eat pie. <laughs> that would be me. Right? Look, look, look. Pretty simple so far, right? So look. Oh, not enough. So we want to make it. And the recipe you'll have on the, on the website, friends, is going to be perfect for this. And don't worry what it looks like. If it's a little cra cracked, don't worry about it. You see right there, it's cracked. That's the dough. That's the, that's the kind of dough you want. You want it to be nice and flaky. Okay, so don't worry about it. We don't want it to be too complicated. Let's see what do we got here. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. We want to make it even now, friends. Even, okay? Even, 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 eh? All right? So now, you have a lot of people that tell you, you don't need to butter the mold because they said you have enough butter in the dough. You know what I say? You never have enough butter. <laughs> Somebody going to say, oh, you know, I like your food, but it's too much butter. Well, guess what? Go eat somewhere else, okay? Because uh, my food is going to have butter. And, and, and so why am I putting butter in here since it don't, I don't need it? You don't put butter because you need it. <laughs> you put butter because you love it. You love it, that, that buttery thing. And let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing that it does, friends, which is really, really special. Let me tell you what it does. The butter, the milk protein, huh, it's going to cook and it's going to give you some nice nutty flavor to the dough. So not only is it not going to stick, but the dough is going to be nice and buttery and crispy on the outside. So don't put the butter if you don't want to. I put it in, okay? Do whatever makes you happy. That's the whole idea about cooking. So now what do we do with these things? How do we put it in there? It's very simple. You can roll it like all the fancy chefs do, but I give you another way, very simple. Eh? You fold it in half, fold it in half again, okay? Now you put your mold right over there, and all you got to do is go like this. Fold it in half again, and fold it in half again. You didn't have to be that uh, experienced to do that, right? So now look, what you want to do now, you don't want to push it. Don't push it, okay? You want to lift it and then push it. Give it plenty. Give it, give it some. Give it plenty. Give it, give it, give it some. Give it plenty, meaning you don't want to force, you don't want to push on it. You see, friends? You don't want to push it. I think there's a little rosemary in here. I was cooking something with rosemary earlier. <laughs> So here, we go. so here we go, you see, right there, right there? So give it plenty of space, my friend, give it plenty of space, all right? So now you're gonna say, well, I got a lot right there. What do I do with the rest? Don't worry about it right now. Don't worry about how much you have. Matter of fact, you know what I like to do? I like to make sure it's nice and thick. I like to make sure it's nice and thick. And don't worry about if it doesn't look good right now, because it doesn't, okay? It doesn't look good right now, that's okay. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna refrigerate this for a good 15, 20 minutes to let it relax. After it has relaxed for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it's a process. It, sometimes things are a process. Then you take it out, then you wait another 10, 15 minutes. It's gonna be all in writing, so don't worry about it. Just get yourself a nice drink and enjoy the afternoon you're making dough, okay? <laughs> and what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it relax a little bit, and when it comes out of the refrigerator, when it comes out of the refrigerator, we're going to roll and we're going to cut it nice and pretty. Okay? And then I'll show you exactly how to cook it. So, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator right now on the plate. We're going to cover it with a plastic wrap. And I'll come back in a few minutes. We're going to finish it up. Okay? Okay, friends. So, the dough has been in the refrigerator. Remember, it's always refrigerator, wait, refrigerator, wait. It, that allows the dough to settle so it doesn't shrink on you. If you skip all this, it's going to shrink and you're not going to have a full pie dough. It's really, really important. So I left it in the fridge and, uh, and I'll make sure then, if nothing else, you push it. Don't be afraid to push it down. Okay, don't be afraid. I'd rather you have too much thickness than not enough thickness. And now what we're going to do, we're going to cut it because it doesn't look good, right? We're going to make it look good. So kind of tilt it toward the end a little bit, just slightly, so it doesn't go in. Just slightly push it toward the outside and just do one of those. One of those. See? Just one of those. And we're going to look at a few inconsistencies and I'll show you how to fix them perfect. 
The idea is to make sure we have more instead of less. So we take this out. Stay over here, you. All right, so far so good. So now what I want to do, friends, is I want to push it up a little bit. Push it up a little bit. You see, just a little bit. Because it will shrink. I don't care what you do. I don't care how we do it. It will shrink. So if you push it up, by the time we're done, we will be perfectly nice and even with the mold. You see, if you watch the onion pie recipe, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I have a full pie full of onion and custard, cheese custard. And, uh, and you'll understand that, be, that it did not shrink at all. It's because I'm doing this right here, you see? And what I like to do is with your extra that I have, well, I push it in a little bit. And don't worry about it, any inconsistency in the dough. It really doesn't matter, okay? It, nothing is going to show up. It's going to be beautiful. We have to pile bacon now, friends. How do we pile bacon? Take a piece of parchment paper, put it right in the middle. If it's too big, cut it. And take, I have the rice that I use. It's a, it's a, I, I use it just for this. It's a rice that I've baked about 100 times so far. Maybe 200, 300 times. You do it with, uh, with rice, you do it with beans, you do it with whatever makes you happy, you see? Put them right in there like this. And give it plenty of spaces. Push it, push it in the middle. Don't push it in the edge, though. And then cut the excess, friends. Well, you don't need this excess paper, my friends. You don't need it. It's just going to be in your way, in the oven. And what we're going to do now, we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, at about 400 degrees, 400 degrees. Those cook at 400 Fahrenheit. And Jack is gonna put the Celsius temperature because I always get those confused. All right, we're gonna bake this on a cookie sheet. After you bake it on a cookie sheet for 35 minutes, 30, 35 minutes until it's like golden brown. We're gonna take this out, bake it, and we're gonna bake it first, then we're gonna take this out, and we're gonna brush it with an egg white, and then you have your part cooked pie dough. It is that simple, friends, okay? You can use already store-bought dough, and you do the same process if you don't wanna make your own dough. Not that difficult, it's up to you. There's a lot of great part dough, and uh, a part uh, made already dough. Peaceberry makes it a decent brand, and I, I'm sure there's some other brand out there. I don't know what they are, because it's so easy for us to make the dough. But it's not that difficult. I hope you make it. I hope you enjoy that segment. And don't forget to look at the onion pie. That's a fabulous recipe you should try to make at home. Okay, folks, that's it. You see, it was not that difficult. Subscribe to the channel. It gives us a thumbs up. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get a notification. Every Thursday, we'll put out a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.